In this week's edition of A Ray of Hope, a teacher turned farmer uses her journey to encourage others, especially females, to try their hands at something else and change the narrative. As we hear from Kean Morgan, the farmer is also using her skills to help the less fortunate. Her smile is infectious, but at least it's harmless. Meet Charmaine Blair Stewart, a farmer in Plant and Garden River, St. Thomas. She has been tilling the soil for over 12 years. You plant a seed and you get a tree and the fruits and the bearings. It's fascinating. Teaching was her passion. However, she left the profession to become a stay-at-home mom. But after a decade and suffering boredom, Mrs. Stewart decided to venture again into the formal working world. However, instead of teaching, she decided to try farming. I watched my dad doing it as a backyard farming, you know, a small farmer. And I am always wondered, and trust me, I'm also enthused at the things he carries home. And then we enjoy the labor and the fruit of his labor. So coming into farming, I tell you something, I couldn't have done anything better right now. At first, she thought she was too fancy for it. I had extremely long natural fingernails. I'm prissy and proper, more of me you can't find. Added to that, the criticisms. Persons overlook you, persons don't take you seriously, and for someone as articulate as I am, they think I'm just a model, or it's a joke, or I don't know anything about farming. But now seeing the fruits of her labor, she believes it's something anyone can do. When you harvest your first crop, you smile and you can say, well done, especially if it is most successful. As a female, don't think there's no, no choice, nothing to do. You have to sit home, mind the children, look up at the husband, wash the clothes, cook the food, clean the house. There's also an option for you. And as a female farmer, I can tell you that Doing something on your own for yourself empowers you. Mrs. Stewart is now one of the suppliers of cassava to Red Stripe. She was also one of the farmers who supplied food packages to residents in Bull Bay St. Thomas while under lockdown. Now, she's providing assistance to shorteens in the parish, along with another farmer. It's hard for a person, some persons to find food, and I can identify with that not being able to have anything to eat. She believes other women can break the narrative too with a little drive and dedication. Young girls who believe that they, are not, they have nothing to do or they got no option, come on man, try farming backyard, get some seeds planted, look at it grow. With a ray of hope, I'm Kean Morgan.